Good day to all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you're watching at daytime or night time. But the word of the Lord remains the same forever and forever. Heaven and earth will pass away but not my word the Bible says. So let's put our focus on the word of God. And keeping our focus on the word of God means keeping our eyes on Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. who died for us and who rose again on the third day and he is the same yesterday today and forever as much as he was compassionate and he is still compassionate even today he's our great comforter let's trust in him and understand his word and go into the scriptures i dealt on a uh, faith concerning faith i spoke about faith faith calls things that are not as though they were fear always talks about those things as they are and it's it's a great temptation for us and and our flesh draws and our soul draws to what we see in the natural and what we hear in the natural they are facts no doubt about that they are facts but still we have the word of the lord we have the word of the lord in fact the bible says let's go to the book of uh, um Hebrews chapter number 11 and verse number 1 Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen Faith is a substance is a substance or it's an assurance or something that is set under as a foundation now faith is a substance of things hoped for what do you hope for today you hope for a better future you hope for the best for tomorrow in fact i personally hope today is a day of salvation today is a day that we would see every good thing that christ has heaven has never changed the plan of god has never changed He is the same yesterday today and forever and he doesn't change. So as the scripture says here faith is the substance of things hoped for and not in hope you may be in a hopeless condition but then probably you need to turn around and have some hope. Stop believing all that you hear and start believing all what Christ has done for you. Christ he became a curse for us. cursed is everyone that hangs on the tree and thank god jesus died for us for you and for me for each and every one of us so that we would be able to come into the place of understanding all the good that he has for us can only be received it cannot be begged for it cannot be earned it has to be received and that's grace and and one of the meanings of the word grace or one of the understandings of the word grace is the one who wants to give is more interested in giving us than the one who receives can we understand this he is more interested in us in giving us all that he has for us every good thing he has for us than we are waiting for it we kind of wait okay now i wonder if it is god's will no it is god's will god's will never changes it says in the book of 3 john and verse number 2 beloved i wish or i pray or i strongly desire that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers even as your soul and that word soul means your mind the soul comprises of your mind your will and your emotions and your intellect that's where we need to have good information put into we need to understand it is god's will it's god's wish it's god's desire it was just not a wishful thinking of john for a journey that he was about to go to or somebody else was supposed to go no it is god's will it is god's will it has always been god's will if he healed one he is always willing to heal the other 
If he has provided for one, he is always willing to provide for all. He is our good saviour. He is our loving father. We need to hear something good to change our way of thinking. We need to hear the right thing. We need to hear the right thing. And when you hear the right thing, you speak the right thing. It means a lot. It means a lot when you speak the right thing. So faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence. Somebody might say, let me see, show me, give me the evidence. The evidence of things not seen. Shall we add something to it? It does say things that we don't see physically, but we believe they are. Physically they are. Your healing is just there for you. The goodness of God is just there for you. God's protection is just there for you now, right now. Keep your focus on the word of God. Change your way of thinking. That would be the best you can do at this time. Change your way of thinking. Oh God, I'm changing. I'm changing. I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to change. I'm beginning to understand God's will. When you understand God's will, you would know how to pray. We covered that also. When you don't know what the will of the Lord is, your prayers are faithless. And God says it is impossible for us to please God without faith. In verse number 6 it says, Without faith it is impossible for us to please God. And uh, it says like this, Without faith it is impossible for us to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe. He that comes to God must believe that he is. That's number one. We got to believe that he is. Which means... He is Jehovah Shammah, the Lord who is present. He is the living God who is very much alive. That's number one. And number two, and that he is a rewarder. And he is a rewarder. That's very important. He is a rewarder. He grants you rewards, not just pays you wages. The devil pays us wages. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God or the reward of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus is our reward that brings us to the place of eternal life which covers everything that man needs. Not only when he goes to heaven, but even before the day that you receive Jesus, Lord of your life, you have received eternal life. According to John chapter 17 and verse number 3. And that he is a rewarder to them who diligently seek him. The third thing is diligence, continuance, stay, stay, staying focused. Staying focused. It makes a difference in a person's life to stay focused, given undivided attention to God's word and fully be, con or, or con be, be fully convinced that he is a rewarder. In fact, every born again child of God, everyone who believes in Jesus Christ is the seed of Abraham. According to the book of Galatians 3 and verse number 29. And the Bible says the blessing of Abraham, that the blessing of Abraham may come upon us. It says in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 14. Now, what is the blessing of Abraham? The blessing of Abraham is one that we could see in the book of uh, uh, Genesis chapter 15 and verse number 1 where it says, fear not. fear not. That's a blessing, I'll tell you one thing. That's assuring that God talks to you and says, fear not. I am your shield. Fear not, I am your shield. A shield protects a person from anything that is harmful. From anything that is harmful. He says, fear not. I'm your shield. I'm your protection. I cover you in everything. I'm always your shield. And I'm your exceeding great reward. Exceeding great reward. Let's keep our lives focused to understanding that God is a good God. He's a loving God. He's a good God. He's concerned about us. 
So faith is a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. What is not seen is clearly mentioned in the scriptures. That's the reason we got to pull these promises out from the scriptures and get it into our hearts and believe it and say it. This is what belongs to me. This is what belongs to me. In fact, in the book of the book before Hebrews and the book of Philemon and verse number 6 goes like this. that the communication of your faith that the communication of your faith may be, become effectual by acknowledging the nearest word to acknowledging is confessing by acknowledging every good thing which is in you is already in you it's already in you Don't be distracted. Something good is inside of you. Every good thing is in in you in Christ Jesus. That your faith may become effectual by acknowledging or confessing every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Or in other words, when Jesus came into your life, he came fully, entirely. He came into your life with healing, joy, peace, comfort, prosperity, life, every good thing. So what must I do? I got to acknowledge for my faith to become effectual. I got to acknowledge or to declare or to speak forth every good thing that I have in Christ Jesus. If I were to keep keep on listening to what's the what the world is going through i'm listening to everything that the world is talking about it weighs down my faith it distracts me it takes me off from my position of faith and draws me into a position of fear and fear has no faith at all in fact fear is an opposite force of faith it draws you backward but faith advances you forward faith takes you forward while fear draws you backward keep your focus on the lord and confess every good thing that you have in christ jesus acknowledging every good thing that's the only way you make your faith effectual effectual let me take you to another scripture from the book of thessalonians first thessalonians and chapter 2 and verse number 13 first Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13 maybe we should read from verse number 12 onwards that you should walk worthy of God who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory he has called you unto his kingdom and his glory Verse number 13 says for this call also thank we God without ceasing. Paul says I'm so impressed about you Thessalonians. I'm thanking God for this cause. For this cause also we thank God without ceasing every time every remembrance he started thanking the Lord for the Thessalonians. Thank you Thessalonians you have understood the word When you received the word which you heard of us you received it not as the word of men but as it is in truth the word of God In other words we spoke to you we are men we spoke to you we are only carriers we were vessels of carrying the word of God into your lives And you didn't look at the carrier you just looked at the word You looked at the word. You just received the word. It was the word that you were focused on. You didn't say it came from Paul, it came from Peter, it or it came from some other source. Oh, these are words. No, we received it as it is in truth. We received as it is in truth the word of God. The word of God. We received as the word of God. 
This is the word of God we receive by the stripes of Jesus you are healed by the stripes of Jesus you are healed and not going to be healed some day but you are healed you receive it by faith and you declare it and which effectually worketh also in you that believe so how is your faith effectually working when you start believing the truth not as the words of men but as the word of god and you start seeing things happening in your life you say thank you father i trust you lord for this good word that i have received i receive that word i receive the word of god with meekness in my heart i don't try to rationalize i don't try to put fear and faith together and try to neutralize the word of god the bible says people even in his time in the times of jesus they made the word of god to non effect the bible says but what reason they made it non effect by the traditions of men whatever we have heard it doesn't matter if it is not lining up with the word of god we're going to say no but we will receive the word heavenly father i pray for every person every viewer every listener faith has come into them faith has risen in them that you would lord draw them and lord you would draw them unto you with loving kindness and father answer every one of their prayers lord if they are in a hopeless state of condition concerning the future situations lord let them have faith let them have faith i pray lord in jesus name that they would not turn around and look to the circumstances and look things before they would look unto you as the author and the finisher of their faith and they would run this race patiently thank you lord for your grace for touching their lives and healing their bodies i command those pains and aches to move out go in jesus name every symptom be removed let the peace of god flood their souls and their minds keep them strong keep them strong in the word of god in jesus name i pray god bless you